Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we are going to try and use a heat gun to revert our sandblasted 3D printed PLA prints back into their original colors. One of our subscribers suggested it and we are going to try it out. I'm not sure how this actually works, but let's get started. We'll start heating up the aircraft engine that we sandblasted last week and see if it will revert to its original gray. Hmm, it looks like the surface did get lighter after coming into contact with the heat. We softened the PLA quite a bit, but it doesn't seem like it will get lighter and back to its original color. I think gray is a bit hard to see, so let's try with our gem print instead. I can see the PLA start to soften, but I can't really tell if it is getting lighter again. I already softened the gem to the point where we can see the infill on the outside. It doesn't look like the method works very well on lighter colors, I guess. Let's take a closer look at the print. We can definitely see the lighter color in the aircraft engine when we first heated it up. We saw the color change, but when we continue to do it, it doesn't seem like it was getting lighter. Moving on to the next print. I can't really tell whether or not the gem actually got lighter. The gem is already really light, and the dirty surfaces are still there and visible after the heat treatment. Interesting. Well, there we have it. We tried to use a heat gun to revert our prints back to the original color as suggested by one of our subscribers, and it kind of works. We saw the aircraft engine get lighter in the area, but didn't revert back to its original color. The gem on the other hand, I can barely tell that it changed. Maybe I am heating it up wrong. I'm not too sure. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering New. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printed courses, Steam challenges, and CAD tutorials. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.